Hello everyone, this is Mr. Garcia here at Fran Frozen. I'm gonna show you a real another option that might be easier for you to record to record your screen. Now on your new laptop or even on your old Mac, you can hit Shift Command 5, and then you'll get this menu here that says record your entire screen or a partial of your screen. If you're obviously if you're in a meet, if you hear me talking here, all my students would be in where I'm talking. So they would be in this screen. You have to manage your tabs if you're presenting something. For example, I like to start off my classes with a with a warm up. Uh, as you can see this GIF here. Now if I click on uh, record the entire screen and then I click and you click on options, make sure that the that the MacBook uh, Air microphone is on. Now I'm going to switch it to my headset because the sound is a lot better. If you click on options, remember shift control five brings this right here. So you can record your entire screen. If you want to record your screen, it's a lot easier than the Google meets just an option for you. So you click on options, make sure it's on your, either your Mac microphone, but I'm using the headset. The, the audio is a lot nicer. So once you click on that, you click on record. Now I'm recording this whole session. So hopefully this you can see what I'm recording. And you see this option right here? I don't know if you can see that up here, right here. If I'm recording, talking with the kids, talking about the how far the sun is from the earth, I can stop it up here. You see this top little circle at the top of your where you see my cursor? That's where you stop it. Once you stop it, it creates whatever it is that I'm doing. You notice down here, it's going to save it as a file on your on your uh, Mac, and then you can just click on it and save it to Drive. Check it out. So now, so now this is how you you. That recording is going to land on your, once you're done recording and stop, that recording lands on your desktop and you can load it up to drive and then you can share it out in classroom. Let me know if you have any more questions about this because I think that's a very easy way to record your screen. Thank you for watching.